Hi, welcome to the Transport Compliance presentation today. Riddell has been capturing some really awesome videos of the team and what we've been up to since before Christmas. So please watch, enjoy this short video. <laughs> one more, one more, show it, show it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. As you know, I'm now with Straubs. Um, I do miss the team, but I do love my new job. Camera, camera, so I called it. Hi teams here, miss you all uh, in my new job here, I'm going great. I hope, uh, hope to see you again around sometime. And uh, come visit me at Level 5, ATHQ. See you guys. We started checking tickets and doing the actual job and I'm having heaps of fun. I'm getting to know my co-workers, um, the other transport officers. It's like, really great. Our working hours are fantastic. So, having heaps of fun. Hi, I'm Sunny, the new transport officer. It's 7099. Just finished my training before the COVID. find this job really exciting. And I come to face to face to each a new person every day. That's what I, makes exciting actually. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sarah, the Transport Office 7098. I feel like I'm part of the family. <laughs> they look after us very well. And I also like the team. Uh, it's awesome because I get to see a lot of people from all walks of life and uh, at their behavior and how to talk to other people. Thank you. And supported the events that happened in Auckland over the summer, including Elton John, Black Caps versus India, and the Blues at Eden Park. And then came COVID-19. So one of the main focuses for the transport officers during the lockdown, Level 4 and Level 3, was their own safety. We had a total of 47 staff movements from COVID. These were for isolations, a few staff that were sick, testing, and a few that were stuck overseas. What an amazing effort for the team to stick at it during those really difficult times. We had to enforce the two metre social distancing on the trains, buses and everywhere. Safety procedures were created and we had to keep to our bubbles, continue to help our customers feel safe and help deal with some of the rougher elements that were out on our buses, trains and facilities. We produced a really easy to follow video on how our staff could keep themselves safe. We still need to show up to work about 10 minutes before our shifts start. Starting times will still be staggered. Hygiene procedures should be kept up. Masks, gloves, hand sanitizer are still available. Cleaning surfaces and equipment before and or after use. From the public standpoint, under Level 3 rules, the public can now expand their bubbles. However, usage of public transport should only be for work, school, travelling locally for recreation and visiting your extended bubble, medical visits and grocery shopping. Our focus will be on customer service, safety and maintaining a presence on the trains, buses and stations. Interactions with others should be kept to a minimum. Customer services will be open. Keep an eye out for emails. Issues, questions, call your supervisor. Stay in touch. If you're unwell, stay home. Let a supervisor know. Keep your phone close to you so that you can be reached if necessary. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Take care and stay safe. We had help along the way and worked as a team with train managers, the metro team, 
and with aviation security. Before every shift, uh, we read our intel briefings online. Uh, this is something we started doing because of COVID-19. Um, the reports let our managers know what issues we're dealing with, and they let us know in turn what events or issues there have been in the previous shifts. Then at uh, work, we have a quick two-minute stand-up meeting at the start and the finish of every shift. We used to meet as a group, but now we restrict it to our work bubble. On the train or bus, the first thing we do is to say hello and ask people why they are traveling. Mm -hmm. If they are an essential worker, they have an authorization to travel. Mm -hmm. We also take the details in case contract tracing is required uh, for later use. Some people are just bored. They just want to do something different. So they think they'll just go for a ride on the train or the bus. We had a few people on the NEX buses who think uh, they could do that too. The majority are okay once you explain to them under level 4 alert. Travelling on public transport for anything other than essential purposes is not allowed. Some people definitely don't like the idea that they're being filmed. The police have been very helpful though. They'll come onto the site or to meet us at the next station. All in all, over the past four weeks, while it's been a heck of a lot quieter on the public transport system than normal, it has proved a great experience for our transport officers. We dealt with lots of non-essential travellers, especially during lockdown four. Police supported us when we called them, but the transport officers were able to handle most situations themselves. We did have a lot of common excuses for the non-essential travellers. I'm just heading to the supermarket. I'm going to the city as they have better food than out here in Papakura. I was out on my bike travelling to Henderson. I'm middle-aged, been out for a ride, got too tired, decided I would get the train home. Me and my family are just going for a train ride. I was just bored. I decided to go for a drink with my brother in West Auckland. Now I'm heading home. I am an essential worker. I'm going to work. I don't have a travel letter from my boss. Actually, I can't remember the name of my company. I'm just going to see my friends. We also had some feedback from customers, colleagues and other teams within AT. Hey, I'm Ethan from Fuller's. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your presence still on board is really reassuring. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I'm a nurse working at Starship Hospital. The guy's checking the tickets and it made people sure that they were an authorised to travel. I'm a registered nurse and I'm feeling so lucky to have three officers on the train with me. I'm one of the Transdev staff at Britomart. We're really happy to see you guys and working with you, especially dealing with some of those non-essential travellers. Hi, I'm Nikki Norris at Middlemore Station and thank you so much for not allowing the non-essential team. They helped me return to work and I'm so impressed and amazed that you're keeping the trains in public safe. I'm a bus driver at Newmarket. I just want to thank you for stopping all those non-essential workers from embarking on my bus. At Britomart, I saw an old male disembark the southern train. I asked them to stay home or the police would be called. All the staff at Brennamart were pleased and said they were doing such a good job.
Transport officers keep people safe and help beat the virus. I want to express my and AT's utter gratitude. Exceptional team doing a tough job. Working for the benefit of our communities and people. You guys represent yourselves and AT every day. It's truly inspirational. You are living our values of Manaki Tanga and Tiaki Tanga. You make us all proud. Hi there, transport officers. It's me, Stacey, and I'm coming to you live from home today. Uh, look, this is just a quick message to say a huge thank you to you all. I know while we're sitting here at home, you're out there representing us and doing an amazing job at that. The feedback that I've had, both in terms from that customer feedback as well as from our operators, has been extraordinary. You truly are essential to what we're doing out there and keeping Auckland moving. Now, as we've gone from level four and now moving into level three, not much is changing. I guess it's more that sort of reassurance, we're still not collecting fees, but that reassurance that you're providing both our customers and our operators is integral to the well-being of them and the network in making public transport a viable transport means. Thank you very much. And look, you're our eyes and ears out there. Please do feedback what you're seeing. We do appreciate it. And we really appreciate the work you're doing out there. Thanks. Hi, I'm Mark Matheson, Senior Facilities Operator for the Norwest uh, region of the bus, ferry and train. We had the privilege over the, the lockdown three and four of COVID to have the TOs uh, work with us across the network and we've had an excellent job in being present over the Northern Busway. I'd just like to thank uh, Steve Morgan and his team of TOs and a fantastic job they did over Level 3 and Level 4 and uh, privilege to have them on board. Thank you. So where to from COVID? We're still ensuring customers' safety, security and well-being, providing an exceptional customer service, dealing with that antisocial behaviour, keeping up with the infringements and enforcement, moving to bus, to ferries, events, ticking along for all of Auckland. In this really busy year, uh, the transport officers have continued doing their government regulatory compliance qualifications. So after our meeting today, there's going to be 49 graduates of the Level 3 and Level 4 National Certificate. Well done, awesome effort and lots of hard work put in. Well done guys. So I hope you enjoyed those videos. Thanks for watching. A really awesome seven months. Really proud to be working with this team.